Los Angeles has the highest poverty rate of all the major cities in America. The Harvard Civil Rights Report documented that about half of all the children in Los Angeles do not graduate from high school. That just goes to show the link between education and poverty. Alejandra Negrete was about 14 years old when she first came into the learning lab. Really nobody quite knew the severity of uh, some of the challenges that she had gone through. My father, you know, hit my mom. I watched him scream. She was just verbally, physically, emotionally, every kind of abuse. I didn't know quite why she was so quiet and, and reserved and uh, standoffish, actually. For us, it was just, we can't see our father. Uh, we don't have friends right now. I remember giving Alejandra a lift back home. We pull up and it's a, it's a big, big, it looks like a big house. <laughs> And it's a shelter for, uh, for families who had uh, been through uh, domestic abuse. Just imagine all the things she never had the benefit of experiencing. Just the benefits of a daily, regular life. And I could see how it builds up layer upon layer and really hardens a person's attitude towards the world. School wasn't a priority for any of us. It was just kind of trying to survive. So it was a constant battle of trying to figure out our life and trying to see where we can find a place to call home. Uh, and the learning lab became just that, so. As a student, Alejandra had a, a, a spark of ambition. And I could see it, it was, it was hidden. It was, it was way back there. I think what really uh, helped Alejandra was the team effort here in the learning lab at Hathaway Sycamores. And when I say team effort, I don't mean just the staff, but also the other children here as well. I was so happy at the same time to see that spark. I remember one day we actually had a talk about college. Uh, I didn't know what SATs were. I didn't know um, that you can have interviews. I didn't know that um, you need like a certain GPA. Just imagine growing up where you've never heard a name of a college. And he told me, look, I see the potential in you. However, don't expect this to be easy. And you know, it's not gonna come fast. So you can imagine a child, a teenager going through that process without help. It's, I mean, it's impossible. Getting into college was so big. I remember getting the acceptance and I literally came to the learning lab. That was my first place. She was just so happy. I mean, she was like literally jumping up and down. It was like Christmas for us. <laughs> yeah, without the learning lab, I probably, honestly, I'd probably be at home at a minimum wage job. One of the immediate impacts is the sense of happiness, well-being, and feeling better about themselves. The longer term impact is helping the family to break the cycle of poverty. It's better than a zero-sum game. It's better than a win-win situation. It's a win-win-win-win and it just keeps winning situation. Thanks, Lenin Map. Because of you, I'm going to use C. Irvine and becoming a lawyer. Thank you.